Good evening, my beautiful followers. How is everyone doing on this Friday evening, late afternoon? Uh, hope everyone has had an amazing week, uh, week and is getting ready for a good weekend. It's getting ready for a good weekend. Uh, all day I've been thinking about this live stream. I actually read an article earlier about it and it is under the same title of you got to work for your orgasm. You got to work for your orgasm. But next Saturday, I am doing female orgasm camp. And this is something that we talk about in orgasm camp, but it is also something I see and I hear every single day as a sex coach. Every single day, I get people messaging me going, they either are telling me, well, is there really such thing as energetic orgasm? Is there really such thing as an emotional orgasm? They're telling me that they're broken. They tell me, I get questions all the time uh, from my followers regarding their orgasm. They're like, well, how do I fix this? And they want a quick fix. They want a quick fix. And so they end up getting really frustrated. I even have clients that I will give homework to and things like that. Okay, here's how you fix your issue. And what ends up happening is they get really frustrated. And the issue is that we need to work, work, yep, work for our orgasm. And you won't hear me say that very often because what we end up doing is working in the wrong way for our orgasm. Uh, in the bedroom, people will, they will like move their hips and they'll clench their butts and they, they push, they grasp for orgasm or what they think is orgasm. But what ends up happening is we have been taught by our society what orgasm is, what orgasm is. And so you believe you have this orgasm pleasure ceiling. You believe this is what orgasm looks like. You have been freaking ingrained that orgasm only looks one way. And really oftentimes it is not actual true orgasm that you think is orgasm. It's climax. You think climax is orgasm when climax is just the peak just one of the, one of the many many peaks in a true orgasm in that deeper orgasm in that orgasm that is really fulfilling i get people all the time that ask me and they're like you talk about this sex you talk about these orgasmic moments i wrote an entire article the other day about energy orgasm i just had a full body energetic orgasm for hours, for hours, I sat with a client and he was like, really, really? Like we were talking about it, I was explaining it to him and he was like, you really orgasm for three hours and nobody was touching you? I'm like, yep, yep, I did that. I did that because I am in tune with my energy. I'm in tune with my, my chakras. I'm in tune with my body. And so most people, they think that they can get a quick fix to their sex. First of all, they have this pleasure ceiling of like, well, this is what orgasm looks like. This is as good as it gets. And so we that's when we grasp the vibrators. That's when we just kind of rub one out. That is when we get with our partners and we're not really experiencing our sex. Yeah, we might call it good sex, but really it ends up being shit sex in the grand scheme of things. It really ends up being crap sex because your level of orgasm is still down here, a lot of you, a lot of you, and you're not willing to work in the right way. Instead of working to learn more tips, more, learn more tricks, learn more techniques, it's about getting right with the fact that your orgasm comes from in here. It comes from your inner self. It comes from your inner fucking work. It also comes from your physical work. So if you're one of those people who has never done pelvic floor exercises, guess what? Your sex is going to be shit. Your sex is going to be shit because if you have a very weak pelvic floor, then you cannot have good pelvic floor muscles. You're not going to have the tone. You're not going to even have the attention to detail in the presence level of your genitals. You're not going to have the presence level because your muscles are going to be weak. They're going to be incredibly weak or or they're going to be so incredibly tight because 
Because what do we like to do in sex? We tighten everything. And that is actually the exact opposite of what we need to be doing. We need to be releasing the muscles. We need to relax the muscles. And I like to think of the pelvic floor almost like a ballerina. I was a ballerina for years. Many of you know I was, I, I danced. And then also I, um, I taught dance for, for many years, actually until I was about 28. I was, I was still kind of half teaching dance because I loved it so much and also dancing myself. But anyway, that's besides the point. I like to think of the pelvic floor. A healthy pelvic floor is like a ballerina. It has good muscle tone, but it also is a lean muscle. It is very lean in, in the musculature because when it gets too tight, if it's not been stretched out, if it's not healthy, then what ends up happening is you have a hyperactive pelvic floor. But people will go, really, these are silly exercises. Why do I have to do them? Why do I have to do this? It's not going anywhere. I'm not getting anywhere. It's I'm not having this massive orgasm the first two or three times I do pelvic floor exercises. And then the other thing is like working on breathing, working on your breath because your breath connects to your orgasms. If you're not breathing, your energy is not moving. Your sexual energy is not moving. Your pleasure is not moving. You don't even feel your fucking body. And so it requires you to breathe. And so that takes work, that takes effort. That takes effort on your part. And then when we talk about energetic orgasm, which people all the time will be like, well, that's not really a thing, that's fake, that's bullshit. And I can tell you, it is not bullshit. I have energetic orgasms by my freaking self without touching myself. Um, or even just like, I can like move my energy. I actually have to be really careful right now because lot of orgasmic energy running in the last like week or so and so a little I, I had a client like feel my energy just like literally feel my energy and I allowed him to kind of play with it for a second I was like I started going into into full or I'm like okay well, okay you need to stop we need to stop now okay like let, let's let's do it this way so that I don't end up a mush pile on the floor of the office um, just from you like play, like playing this far away from me. But energetic orgasm really is a thing. It is a beautiful thing. It is a thing that, that really can fill you. It fills you in so many different ways. But the fact is you have to get in tune with your own energy. You have to get in tune with your partner's energy. And that takes a level of presence. That takes a level of presence. That takes a level of clearing your shit out and really moving through your blockages. So it, that is your inner work. That is your shadow work. That is your looking at your blocks against your sex. And if you are out there and you're like, I have no blocks against my sex, that's bullshit. When you give me that answer, when, when my clients give me that answer, I don't accept it. Because the fact is we all come up against stuff in our sex. And if you're not, you're not doing it good enough. If you're not coming up against stuff in your sex, if there's not moments you go, can I really hold this? Can I really hold this energy? Or, oh, like that, that thought came up, that belief structure just came up. I'm really struggling to surrender here. Or, you know, I, I'm not sure I can hold this much orgasm. Then you're probably not really sexing to the, your depth. You're not really pushing yourself in your sex. And this does not mean that you need to go you know, and do something way outside of your comfort zone. This is the inner push. This is the surrendering. This is the breathing. This is the doing your inner work. This is really the, those base level foundational things of our sex that so many people don't see as important. They're like, give me a tip, a trick, a technique, and then let me be on my way. I don't want to actually have to work at this, but we have to work at our sex. If we want that high level sex, that sex that really fills us emotionally, physically, spiritually, hormonally. Um, and I talk about all this in Female Orgasm Camp. So if you are in the area and you want to join us, events page on addisonbell.net. But also there is this surrender piece and I mentioned that a moment ago and that also takes work. That takes work, that takes trust, that takes you working on you to trust you, not necessarily even just trust another partner, trusting yourself to surrender, to really drop down because I can tell you especially as a woman if you're a woman watching this you more than anything need to learn to surrender into your sex and this is not a I'm gonna let my partner do whatever the fuck he wants to me or she wants to me 
This is you surrendering to you. This is you going, I'm really gonna drop in. I'm really gonna let my guards down. I'm really gonna feel. I'm gonna allow myself to get vulnerable. And that, that my dears, is when you start to have the G-spot orgasms that every all you ladies are like, is it possible? Is it there? Like, I don't, I'm not sure I have a G-spot. You have a G-spot. You do. Also, your cerv- that's when you get your cervical orgasms going, your A-spot, your U-spot, your, your, your breastgasms, your footgasms. I can tell you footgasms are a freaking thing. They are totally a thing. <laughs> but, and all the other orgasms, because there are so many that are out there, but the average person has only not even touched the tip of the iceberg. It is, they're so shallow in their sex. And this is because you're not willing to really look at yourself and do your work. You're not able to look at your belief systems around sex. You have, most people have taken what society has handed them as gospel for what sex is. And, at, and that like men can't be multi-orgasmic Men can totally be multi-orgasmic. I have been with many a man who is incredibly orgasmic, incredibly energetic, and guess what? His multi-orgasmic nature helps my multi-orgasmic nature. And then we can flow and ride this wave together because that really is what orgasm is. It is this riding of a wave. It is not about the the high end peak all the time. You know, a good clitoral orgasm, a good high peak orgasm, has its moments like that's okay i'm not shaming this type of orgasm but i'm saying there's more out there and if you are one of those people who is either using a vibrator constantly on your partner or using a vibrator yourself to get off then you are also missing out on big pieces of your sex and so yes your sex does require work it requires your inner work it requires you stopping and not taking the easy way out all the time. It requires you maybe not getting to the finish line that you think that you need to get to for you to be in orgasm or to have good sex. It requires you opening your mind a little bit. Okay, you really need to open your mind in order to have good sex, to reach those deeper levels that I know you want. You might not believe it, but take it from me. There is some beautiful, beautiful depths of your sexing like energetic orgasm, full body orgasm, emotional orgasm, where you really just clear out your shit, but that it feels so good. And you're like in this beautiful wave and like you're like throwing your hands back, but you're crying or you're laughing. It's amazing. And you will see if you come to female orgasm camp this next Saturday, you will see this. You will see this hopefully. But our sex does require work, but it doesn't necessarily require the work you're thinking. It doesn't require you you know, overthinking, it doesn't require you twisting your hips or getting this this perfect technique down because that actually will disconnect you from your sex. It requires you going inside, it requires you also connecting. If you're, you're having sex with a partner, it requires you connecting with that partner, working on the energy there. That is the work. That is the work we should be doing for deeper, more fulfilling sex those that sex that i know you're craving i know you're craving because we all can expand so so you can message me if you have any questions on this topic other than that get your butt in the door for female orgasm camp if you're in the dfw area again next saturday december 12th i do this with my beautiful co-host who actually started female orgasm camp before i was around um kendall williams and so we'll be doing this this will not come around again until next year so get your butt in the door we are i think three quarters of the way filled up and so um don't wait because we will sell out before the event so you can find all of that and all my programs and everything going on at addisonbell.net just click the events page or the programs page if you want me to kick your ass individually. So I love you guys. Have an amazing Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Bye, guys.